I'm not sure where to start. I can inform and educate you on the process of working on a boat. This project is more than just that. So, I'll start with the dream. At the age of 18, I was representing the Canadian national team for water polo on the international stage. For five years, on the road to the Olympics, my childhood dreams. Unfortunately, on the journey I hit my head. My life was turned upside down, my dreams were crushed, with no clear backup plan, I was stuck. It was heartbreaking. For the next year, I was lost. I was trying to figure out what's next, and I truly didn't know what to do with my life. But somehow it hit me, and I remembered my love for the sea and sailing with my dad as a kid. I already was head over heels for the water, and I loved the idea of exploring new places. With the guidance and influence of family and friends, YouTubers and other sailors, I began to foster a new dream, to live on the sea and to create an alternate life where I wouldn't live for the grind, but live to be free. When I moved back to Vancouver, my hometown, I knew that I wanted to live independently. Unfortunately, if you ever lived in Vancouver, you know that it is nearly impossible to live affordably as a student, unless you're in extreme debt or working multiple jobs. So, as I ventured back and looked for alternatives, I realized that buying a boat could be a realistic option. Fast forward three years, COVID happened. A world came to a complete stop. A time of self-reflection for me and sunsets. This is when I decided to make my dreams a reality. On October 29th, 2020, I bought my first 28-foot sailboat, even though its name was Sea Monkey. This was the first time in a long time I felt I was back on track, pursuing a dream, and making it become a reality. I knew before I got the boat, I was going to completely refit it, to build a home on the water I long dreamed of, and with no idea how it would unfold. After years of dreaming and learning about homes, comfort was key, and I had my priorities. Clean air, controlled temperature, and welcoming vibes that feels like home. I also learned about passive homes, homes that use next to no energy to regulate temperature on their own. I realized that if I wanted to achieve this in my boat, I would have to give up on my earlier intentions of having a fully eco-friendly shell. What I was after was a solution that would be a durable and allow me to have a safe, well-insulated space that was easily to maintain and environmentally sustainable. Around the same time, I also refinished the hull, orange, and renamed the boat Tangerine Dream. Time went on and summer went by. My life completely changed. Living in a small space made me aware of how important our homes are to function comfortably. How we behave in our home reflects on how we go through our day-to-day -day routine. The things we need to do for ourselves every morning to make us ready for the day. The way we collect things and throw things away, as well as the amount of care we give ourselves. No matter how concentrated, our home is so essential for creating a healthy, and more importantly, a happy life. Over summer 2021, Tangerine Dream became a vessel for my own personal growth. It let me live a more nomadic lifestyle, traveling dock to dock, anchorage to anchorage, island to island. Learning how important and influential the environment around us is for travel and for safety. Winds and tides are powerful forces that are not to be second looked. Trust me, I know. But truly, a life of exploration and self-expansion, and an appreciation of our environment. After spending four months living on the boat, I really came to understand this space and the larger space it allowed me to interact with. While I knew what it needed, I didn't just want my own opinion. I was not the only one interacting with the boat. There were others to consider. This led me to focus in on how others behave in this space, contemplating how I could use it to enable better behavior for every day for myself, my community, and as well as the environment I live within. Home was also important to me. How was I going to make a small, uncomfortable space feel comfortable and feel like home?
The designing of this space, I have learned, will never end. I also finally realized that Life Afloat was about far more than a design, build, material outcome. It's about life on the water, the never-ending growing community that comes with being in this space, and most importantly, the stories my time on the project has fostered. Tangerine Dream has been a vessel for more than just me. It has also been for friends, family, and my community. She is a quick escape from the city, a place to reflect and think. A space to truly appreciate the sea and trees. The memories I've collected and the stories I've gathered along the way were unimaginable to me before I set out on this adventure. This project has been a catalyst to rethink how to live out everyday life. It celebrates the conviction that there is more than one way of doing things. And most importantly, I hope, it acts as an invite to others to follow your dream. Moving forwards, I will continue to work on Tangerine Dream and share this space with my community. I will continue to share my experience through videos and photos as a way to further build community with others I have yet to encounter and meet. And finally, I will be producing a book intended to encourage people to pick up and follow their passions and dreams.